Hello fellow traders, I think everyone has heard the phrase, a trend is your friend. Trend following strategies have always been and always will be the most profitable way of trading, because you open deals with the market, not against it. And trend trading is also the simplest type of trading. So in this video, I will share my techniques that I learned and I have worked for over the five years and you may have already seen some of them in my other videos, but I decided that it was time to collect all the information in one video and make the most complete trend trading guide for binary options. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and we are starting. So let's get started with the simplest. Let's answer what the trend is. Trend is the movement of the price in a specific direction in a time period, right? So let's look at the chart. Right here, you can see that this is euro slash dollar currency pair and the time frame is just one minute so the whole thing that we see on the screen is around like four hours so the first hour we see that the price was going down we see the downtrend here and of course that means that the first hour there was a downtrend and the price was moving down next 30 minutes like around 30 minutes the price was moving sideways this is flat market or the period of consolidation there is no uptrend no downtrend here and the next part uh, after like for two hours for two hours the price was moving up and this is called an uptrend the ability to read the trend it is one of the skills that distinguishes profitable and unprofitable traders just think about it if you are a newbie or just a trader who doesn't know how to read the chart or doesn't do it opens the chart so they will try to find entry points at every single moment right but what you need to do and as a person who knows how to read the trend you will look at the chart this way so in the first hour you will try to find deals for the downtrend during the next 30 minutes uh, you won't use the chart in general or you will trade for support and resistance but it's a separate topic and for the rest of the time you will try to find deals for an um, tra up trade so that means the fin rate is going to be higher in general doesn't matter what kind of strategy you're going to use and that distinguishes good traders and bad traders, profitable and unprofitable traders. In order to work with the trend, the first thing that we need to do is to understand how to read the trend and see the structure of it. So let's clear up the chart that we have right here and look at it closer. In this case, we have two hours and the price was moving up. Of course, we understand it was an uptrend, but let's put some points here. Uh, the price started moving up from this point and it was going up a little bit down, up and down, up and down and so on and so forth until this very moment. So what do we need to look first? First of all, uh, we need to understand that when the price is moving up, first of all, the price maximums are being updated. So these peaks, uh, is they are supposed to be higher than the previous one. This is higher high. And of course, uh, when the price, well, let me change the color, red color the price is moving up the uh, price minimums are also being updated it's also supposed to be higher than the previous one and this actually classifies our trend basically that means that higher highs and lower lows are being updated and that means that we are in a really strong uptrend and the price is going to go up. And if you want to learn how to use indicators perfectly, I have a special offer for you. I have launched an online trading academy project a long time ago and you can join absolutely for free. You will get access to my entire binary option trading course and constant support from the supervisor as well as from me personally. And now let's continue. Even though you know all of that, you still need to understand that uh, finding of the trend direction is not enough because, for example, here we have a really strong uptrend, but if we would open deals for three minutes in the price points uh, with the purple color, all of them would be closed in red because the price is not moving constantly in one direction. It moves in waves. Those waves are called corrections or pullbacks. So that means, uh, let's look at the chart. We have continuation, correction, continuation, and again again correction and as a trader you need to trade only in the moments of continuation and the most
most profitable way to do that is to trade from the points of the lower price points of the red color as you can see because the price is going to go up from them and only in that case you will work with trend with the money okay now we know that trend has two patterns so this is continuation and corrections but besides that we have the third stage of the trend and this is the end of the trend because we know the trend is not going to be the same all the time and it's going to change so we see that right here at this point the price decided to go down and when the price went to this level let me get the line on the chart again one second please so the price went down went up but still not higher than before let's look at it closer at this moment should we open the deal for an uptrend well i mean yes we can because the price maximum was there and we need to see if the price minimum is going to be updated so in this case that actually happened so let's put the red color here but what do we see next uh, next price movement up let me put the purple color purpura so next movement up was not higher than the previous one we see that the price maximum was not updated and this is the confirmation for us give me one second the price was supposed to go through that line it didn't and this is a strong signal for us to see that the trend is changing we see that the trend finished and at this moment we stop trading with this specific trend uh, we are not uh, trying to find entry points for an uptrend we just so uh, trying to see what's going to happen next we can trade for the downtrend or if there is a consolidation we are not working with it at all all right now that we know about the structure of the trend we need to talk about how should we find the entry points for our trading for an uptrend so of course we remember that we need to find all the price minimums on the chart let's clear everything up and look at the chart so the first instrument that's going to help us is a trend line trend line is a level a key level that we draw on a z chart uh just like we work with support and resistance levels but during the trend so for you to draw the trend line for an uptrend you need to connect price minimums so you need to draw the line under the chart uh, similar to support and resistance uh, where we need to connect the most amount of dots the most amount of points uh, as possible uh, at some points you can see that the chart doesn't reach the trend line it is completely normal because trend line it is also a level that you need to see not just as a straight line but as a zone so from this zone uh, a little bit out a little bit before that line we are expecting the price to go up and let's see how we're going to do it for the downtrend for the downtrend everything is completely the same first things first we need to find our lower highs and lower lows so we see first second and third and fourth and the price minimums first second third and a kind of fourth one and what we need to do we need to connect all of those picks so if we're talking about downtrend we are drawing it from the uh, up and down and we have our three points connected perfectly and one of them is not connected one of four but it's again completely normal so when the price reaches the trend line the next time there is a big big possibility that the price is still going to go down because this again is a key level as any other and as you can see the price reaches the trend line and still moves down from it but what is important to understand here the price can actually go through the trend line as well and that's why you don't you should not uh, just look at the trend line because if you open the deal for the downtrend you may lose the money uh, because there are a lot of situations where the price is going to go through the trend line and still uh, do the breakout so for example we see it right here if we would open the deal uh, just following the trend line blindly following it uh, the deal would be closed in red because we have also breakout of the pattern and we need additional confirmation as you know i love it 
By the way, if you work with Quotex just like I am, I have a little life hack for you. If from the beginning it's a bit hard for you to draw the trend line, you can use the indicator. So for, here, for example, here you see the downtrend changing to an uptrend. We just connected the peaks here. It is quite easy, but for beginners that's a bit hard sometimes and you have zigzag indicator for it. The only thing, I change depth to 8 and the color I chose yellow on the skies. And as you can see, this indicator actually shows you the price peaks, the price highest points, and it makes your life much, much easier. You just need to connect them with another line and you can see it clearly without even thinking. And for an uptrend, we have the same situation. We connected uh, the lowest points of the price and it makes your life easier. Okay, let's get back to the chart and see how we're gonna enter deals with this strategy and we will talk about, about all of our entry rules. And first things first, of course, we need to analyze the situation. We see that the market was for a really long time in a really slow movement with good levels of support and resistance and then price broke through down and then went up and that's maybe an uptrend. So let's look at the structure. We see our price minimums were up all the time just like higher highs were updated as well so that means that we are working with a good uptrend so what we need to do next we need to add our trend line we connect our lower points of the price somewhat like here yeah somewhere here and we need to wait for the price to reach that trend line again and in this case you can see that this candlestick uh, actually even crossed the trend line a little bit but what do we need to do next? Should we enter a deal for an uptrend? Of course, no. I mean, you can do that, but uh, as you know, this is not going to be a high win rate. And if you're going to do it all the time, you're going to have like meet breakouts and lose money. So not a good idea. We need additional confirmation as always. And the first confirmation which we're going to use, this is the reaction of trend line. We need to see what the next candlestick is going to do. And we see that there is a bit of reaction there is a potential for us it's good it's a good sign good sign you know but it's still not enough let's look some more and we can actually use indicators we have a lot of them a lot of indicators help you with the price reversal points and my favorite was always stochastic i use it quite often because it's quite easy and it works like this so we see two lines and uh, we see levels from uh, 100 to 0. So uh, if the price is lower of the level of 20, that means that the price is in over uh, sold uh, area and overbought area. And if it's higher, then it's overbought area. So if the lines like we see right here are crossing, that means that there's probably going to be the price reversal point. For example, you can see it right here. You see the crossover and the price went up. And same situation right here, but vice versa, of course, you see the price went down. So what do we see in this case? We see that the, let's look a bit closer. We see that the lines are almost crossing each other, but not there yet. So we need to wait for the next candlestick. And what do we see here? We see that we have a crossover on the level of trend line. So that means we have two confirmations, the trend line and stochastic. They both give us good confirmation. For most people, that's good enough. And of course, you can enter into a deal for an uptrend. So we open it here and uh, for three minutes, we are waiting for the result and we see that the deal is going to be closed in black, of course, uh, not the really like not the best one, but still closed in black. But additionally, with that, of course, I use something else and I use additional confirmation with candlesticks. So let's move just a bit in time. We see another yeah, another touch of the trend with the trend line and let's stop somewhere here where the price starts ignoring this. 
we see that the price touched a uh, trend line a couple of times. So right here, we don't have any signals from Stochastic and we don't have any additional confirmation as well. Second one happened right here. So let's look at it closer. We see that the price moved to the trend line, but Stochastic doesn't give us the signal. Do I think this is a good place to enter a deal? Yes, I do. And I'm not looking at Stochastic right now. When you're uh, trading with any price action strategy, when you use key levels, it's really important to look at patterns. And in this case, we see engulfing candlestick pattern. And what does it mean for you? That means that the green candlestick actually uh, absorbs the red candlestick completely. It covers all the body of the red candlestick from the bottom and from the top, right? And that's a really strong pattern, uh, meaning that the price is going to go up. And in this case, I would enter the second deal for an uptrend for three minutes. And of course, you can see that I'm getting money from it. The next touch of the trend line is right here. Not the best place, I would say, but still a good point. We have two red candlesticks and we have uh, the resistance in terms of like we see two dodgy candlesticks. That means that bulls are entering into a game and if we see that they are uh, moving the price up and we see it on the third candlestick that means we can enter into a deal additionally we have stochastic and we have doji candlestick pattern so that means we are entering into a deal and this deal would also be closed in black even though it showed us two doji candlesticks at the beginning so let's continue with the trend the trend didn't finish here yet but after this kind of breaking through like this point i would wouldn't like look at this trend anymore i would move something uh, to something more interesting because this uh, lower level is lower than the previous one and that shows us that there might be a price reversal and a trend reversal of course and as you can see that actually happened right here just a bit later while working with the trend and working with the pullbacks i cannot not tell you about my own strategy so you can see that we have an uptrend we have a couple of potential entry points but out of this whole situation i would only enter into a deal right here in this specific point let me explain why so uh, first of all of course we have all three standard confirmations uh, touching of the trend line and the reaction after that we have the green candlestick as you can tell this is the confirmation number one second one is stochastic of course that shows us the crossover at uh, almost the level that we need of course and the third one is candlesticks that give us uh, the understanding that bulls are taking control from the bears and also we have fourth confirmation so uh, price actually went till this level let's put it right here so this is the resistance zone if we move it slightly forward you can see that the price went till the resistance level went through it and came back to it and in cases like that there is a big big uh, possibility that there's going to be a price jumping from that level and in this case, we also see that the trend line and the support level are crossing each other. And this is confirmation number four and deals like that that's what I'm working with and uh, I have actually a specific video on royal pullback that I recommend you to watch definitely but for now let's get to Quotex and let's do a little session using this strategy with the trend so first things first let's get our platform ready expiration time is going to be three minutes the amount of money i use is two percent in this case it's going to be one hundred dollars uh, besides that we additionally need our indicators it's going to be stochastic uh, the settings are going to be similar all standard nothing to change here and of course that's that's it if you need it you can add a zigzag for me it's not useful i see uh, price levels quite well but you can use it if you need it because it is useful for some people and first things first again what i do i try to find key levels and in this case we are going to look at the chart and as soon as i find a good entry point we are going to talk about it So now when we have our trend lines on the chart and all 
all the currency pairs that I found interesting and everything is quite slow today but in any case so right here we have trend uh, reversal so I didn't use it and in this case we have quite a good place but not the best one I just added a line but in any case so I added trend line everywhere where it was possible and we have to look at all of them and try to find an entry point so for example right here uh, looking at the trend line we can enter the deal here but stochastic tells us that we should not and that's why we're skipping this point and we will try to find another one All right, so this is going to be the first deal for an uptrend for three minutes. What do we see here? The price moves uh, according to this trend line and we see the breaking through of the trend line and we have a gigantic green candlestick, almost the Marabusa candlestick. And Stochastic also shows us a crossover, uh, a bit higher than the level that we want, but still quite close. So now we need to wait for three minutes and see what we're gonna get from the first deal today. Well, this is upsetting, you know, so the first one today is going to be closed, not in black, not in red. It's somewhere in the middle. So actually we have our money back. We didn't get any new money, but uh, basically the deal was closed right at the point where we put it, where we entered it. But at least we didn't lose anything because we had that period of time where we would start our session with losses but in this case let's continue and i see that probably this uh trend will continue to move up again but there is a big 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 problem with bears right now but we still have a lot of currency pairs and we will look at other ones and for this one we will continue looking at it maybe we will go back Alrighty, so deal number two, we're gonna enter at this point and what do we see here? We see our trend, higher highs and higher lows are being updated all the time, everything is good, everything is great and perfect and the price went back to the trend line and Stochastic also gives us the signal. We entered quite late, we should have done it at the beginning of this candlestick but I hope it's not gonna mess it up too much. So we're waiting for three minutes as always and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so the second one is closed on black, of course. You can see that it worked perfectly and the price went just up. And I hope every other deal is going to be closed on black as well today. Okay, so maybe right here we could even enter at this point, at this candlestick, but it's too late, so we will continue to try to find something else. Okay, see, so the third one is going to be opened right here. It's not the perfect one. It didn't go up to the trend line, but I still like this red candlestick. It was close to the trend line and then really, really sharp falling down. And additionally, we see the crossover of Stochastic. And I don't really like the payout of this currency pair. At this moment, it's the lowest. I usually try not to take those, but we don't have have a lot of currency pairs uh, that are good for today so let's risk it for the biscuit and see what's gonna happen here and maybe the next one is gonna be much better and I will find it faster all 
righty so it's closed in black as well as i told you this is not the best confirmation in this situation but we still got the money because the price didn't go up and it's still going down really slowly but continuously in our case that was good enough so let's continue and try to find one more entry point and maybe that's going to be the end for today all right guys so it this one is opened a bit late but still it's a good point to enter into a deal so let's look at the situation right here we can see a really long uptrend and a really good spike right here so the price went back to the trend line and from here the price continues to grow and this is the second green candlestick and additionally we have the crossover of stochastic as usual let's wait for three minutes and see what happens Alright guys, so my heart is broken and this deal is closed in red. It was too late for us to enter into a deal and unfortunately right now of course the price moved up. What the actual hell? But that happens, that happens. Just try to find zen in your body in situations like that. It's upsetting but let's continue. And actually the next one is going to be opened uh, at 4% of the balance from the balance to cover the loss that we just did. Alrighty, so this is going to be doubled. Um, so of course you can see it's 4% from the balance. It is really hard to find good places to enter a deal. And right here we see a really good trend and the price went to the trend line. We have the signal from Stochastic. We have the engulfing green candlestick bigger than the previous red one from the top and from the bottom. And now we supposed to wait for three minutes, but I'm out of a spike. We're gonna wait for one minute because I had to reload the platform and I fluffed up the time we need to change it to three and if this deal is going to be closed in red is going to be really sad and that might happen probably but let's see so for the next time i'm going to open a deal for two minutes and with a bigger percent I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice because of this mistake additionally. And yeah, the, of course, of course, uh, the platform is lagging for some reason. And please leave a comment about this if your platform is lagging as well. But let's talk about the situation. It was not nice. But at the same time, we can see that the price is actually going down. And I'm not sure anymore if we should enter into a deal here. It didn't happen to me, almost ever never happened to me. <laughs> but let's look at other currency pairs and try to find maybe a better point. And yet yeah, still the price can go back up, but I'm upset because of my own mistake of not looking at the settings of the platform. Now we are entering deal right here with 6% of interest uh, from the balance and let's look at the situation. So the price touched the trend, we have two dodgy candlesticks and growing green one. We are ignoring stochastic completely here and we are looking at the chart because uh, stochastic doesn't give us signal for the downtrend so we're not really looking at it we're kind of ignoring it because we can see the trend is still going up and we enter into a deal 
with no mistakes this time with the settings of the platform and let's see what's gonna happen and by the way from the uh, last currency pair uh, it would still would be closed in black but still it, it hurts it hurts it hurts a lot losing money hurts a lot always Goodness, freaking gracious. So the deal is closed in black, thank God. And I think I need to make a break before I make more mistakes and I need to have a little bit of rest. Understanding how to work with the trend correctly, you will be able to achieve excellent results. As you can see from this video, there is nothing complicated about it. And you will also be able to apply this knowledge to enter trades with completely different strategies. And by the way, if you want to study my Royal Pullback strategy more details, watch this video right here. And that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.